What's going on YouTube? It's your man Olive Juice here with week one of the Road to the Hall of Fame with head coach of the SMU Mustangs, OJ Michaels. We're getting ready to head down to Floyd Casey Stadium to take on Baylor, the number seven Baylor Bears and Bryce Petty. It's going to be a tough one here today and we'll see if we can come out with a W. Let's go to it. And here's Rademacher with the kick here in Floyd Casey Stadium. Goodley's back deep. He takes it up at the four-yard line, and he finds a hole on the right side. He's up to the 40, and he's shoe-strung at about the 43-yard line after 39 yards on the return. He's going to be a huge player here for the Baylor Bears. As you can see, Bryce Petty's here in the shotgun with three receivers, two to the left, one to the right. Goodley, he's going to be a weapon. He hands it off to Linwood, who takes it up to the middle for an eight-yard gain, and he's finally brought down. No huddle here for Baylor. Hands it back off to Linwood. He takes it back up the middle for another seven yards. And, man, if SMU can't get that run game locked down, it's going to be a long day here for this SMU defense. Bryce Petty again in the shotgun. That's their main formation. He tosses it out to the left side to Linwood. He picks up about three yards, and he's finally brought down. Bryce Petty still in the shotgun. Baylor loves to run this shotgun formation. We'll see if they can get any pressure on him here. And Zach Wood comes out of nowhere to take down Petty for a loss of six. They're back at about midfield here in the shotgun once again. You see a blitz coming, and oh, no, he's going deep. He's got Norwood, and there was nobody around him. That's going to be a touchdown for the Baylor Bears. First possession here for SMU. You see Gresham goes in motion. Bertram hands it off to Pope, and he's got nowhere to go. And there's a fumble. Oh, my goodness. Stewart picks it up. And he's he's going. Oh, he's finally taken down at about the six-yard line. <sighs> They're going to review this one here. As you can see, that elbow gets down before the ball comes out. That could be SMU saving grace right here because if Baylor would have gone up two touchdowns, it would have been ugly from the jump. Bertram back. He hits Gresham across the middle, more towards the left side for 10 yards on the catch. Dual back set here in the shotgun formation. He fakes the handoff, and he keeps it, and he's brought down quickly after about four yards. And here, Bertram's back in the shotgun. He's going to fake the handoff to Pope, and he's dropping back. He's looking nowhere to go. He shakes one tackle, and he's brought down after a loss of 10 yards. Five receivers set. Third and 15. They got to get this one. He hits Stewart across the middle, and he's hit as soon as he touches the ball, and it falls to the ground. Baylor's going to get that one after the punt. It's first and 10. Petty drops back to pass. He gets Goodley across the middle. He's, he's going to be huge today. They better get it. They better double team him. Petty back again to pass. He's being chased by Miner. He throws it off balance, and Norwood still catches it. Petty's looking at the sideline. He gets the play. He's in the shotgun once again. He's looking to the left side. And, oh, Lee couldn't get in front of it. And SMU knocked it down. Thanks, Bryce Petty here in the pistol formation. Linwood's behind him. He gives it off to Linwood. He runs it up the middle. And he gets nine yards before he's finally brought down. Looks like SMU's bringing the blitz. They do. They completely whiff. Petty gets the ball. He keeps it for about five yards to the right side. Shotgun formation again. One back to his right. He hands it off to Linwood. And Linwood's got space. If only he can beat him to the edge. And he does. He shakes a couple of people and ends up picking up 13. And we're on to first and 10. Linwood back up the middle. He throws out a stiff arm. Keeps turning the legs. And he gets seven. Pistol formation once again. Petty hands it to Linwood, and he, oh, he had a hole. If he would have hit that a little bit faster, that was a touchdown, but instead it's only three yards, and we're going to third and inches. Here comes the hurry up. They're trying to catch SMU off guard. He hands, no, it's a keeper. Petty tried to keep it, and there was nowhere to go. People in the backfield immediately, and that's a five-yard loss, and it looks like SMU's going to hold him to a field goal. No block on that play, so... SMU gets the ball back, and now we got a quarterback change. Matt Davis in the game at quarterback, and he's wide left on his first pass attempt. And we're looking at second and ten here. Matt Davis in a shotgun formation. He's got a man open on the corner route. Steven Nelson gets that for about 22 yards and steps out of bounds immediately. 
Matt Davis once again in the offset shotgun formation. He hands the ball off to Pope, and there's nowhere to go. He's Split hit. offset. Here we go on second and ten. Davis takes the snap. He hands it to Pope. Pope's got a lot of room on the left side. He takes it out. He's finally brought down by the secondary for about 22 yards. Davis takes the shotgun snap. He's holding it, holding it, nowhere to go, and he finally hits Gaines, and Gaines drops it immediately as he's hit as soon as the ball touches his hands. Davis in the pistol formation with Pope behind him, and Gresham whiffs on the block, but that's okay. Davis keeps the ball for about a 16-yard gain. Davis takes the snap. He rolls out to the right, and he's got a man wide open. That's Cedric Lancaster with his first touchdown catch on the season after the extra point. It's going to be a 13-7 game, and SMU is still in this one here early in the second quarter. Bryce Petty takes the snap and the pistol. He turns around and hands it to Linwood. Linwood has nowhere to go. One yard game. Second and nine here. Petty once again in the shotgun formation. Takes the snap and he gets it off quickly to Jay Lee for 10 yards. Bryce Petty takes that snap. He throws it out. Oh, and he fits it beautifully between two defenders. And that's a huge game. It's going to be first and 10 after the big game. Linwood takes the handoff and he goes left. He's got a huge hole. Nobody there. 14 yards later, he finally gets tackled by the corner. Bryce Petty in the shotgun once again. And he fakes the handoff this time. And no, nobody is open. He misses on that throw. And it's going to be second and 10. Bryce Petty sending a man in motion here in the shotgun set. And there's nowhere to go. He's setting up a screen and covered beautifully by that defender. After the bot screen play and the four-yard loss, it's going to be third and 14. Bryce Petty in the shotgun. He's got two guys to the right, and one's going to be wide open for a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Antoine Goodley gets loose and gets that 27-yard touchdown catch. And we're moving on to Matt Davis faking the handoff. He's going to take it up the middle for about eight yards. Matt Davis in the pistol formation. He's going to hand it off to Pope. Pope's got room up the middle, and he's blasted after four yards. Oh, my goodness. That was a huge, huge stop. Davis drops back. He's got a man wide open. Thompson stops on a dime, and he's blasted after a three-yard catch. After the short game by Derek Thompson, Davis is in the pistol formation once again. He's dropping back. He's, there's nowhere to go. And all of a sudden, Lancaster is wide open on the left side. Jukes right into a fender, defender. Not sure what he was doing. 26 yards on the, on the catch. As we see Pope here taking the counter to the left side for five yards. Davis in that, in that full house formation in the pistol set. He fakes the handoff and he's rolling. And he just dumps it off to Gresham for a quick one yard loss. It's going to be third and six here. Five receiver set. They really need to get this one to get... Uh, get, keep this game moving he hits Joseph on a comeback and he only gets five so it's going to be fourth and one and they decide to go for a huge decision here and he fakes the handoff and he pitches it to Gresham Gresham's got plenty of room on the left side he jukes one defender and he keeps going stiff arms another and he's down inside the 10 yard line after 22 yards same formation here he's got a man oh my goodness after the deflection by McGee, we're going back into that full house formation. He hands it off to Pope up the middle again. He only gets two before he's taken down. And we'll see if they can convert on this third and goal. Setting up in a shotgun formation. He rolls out to the right side. He's got a man open. Pope on the screen. He hits a foot race. And he beats him. He's finally dragged down as he crosses the goal line. Davis is in the shotgun set. 25 seconds left. Five receivers. And oh my goodness, what is, oh my goodness, off the deflection, Brintz, he gets the interception and he's finally taken down without much damage. Oh my goodness, the Baylor Bears get another field goal before half. Davis back in the shotgun, another five receiver set, similar set to last time, and he throws another interception, Edwards this time, picking that ball off on the out route. This is starting to become ugly. SMU's really got to stand up tall on defense. Baylor in the shotgun set, man in motion. Petty drops back, and he's looking, looking, finds a man on the left side, Armstead, and he's spun down after five yards. Petty looks to the sideline, gets the play. He's looking, Armstead on the left side. He's so hard to bring down. It took three guys that time to bring him down. He is a huge target for these Bears here today. 
Bryce Petty once again in a shotgun set. He's got one back behind him. He's going to fake it to that back and keep it. Jonathan Yenga is there, though. He lets him get the first down, but only two yards. Petty up. looking to the sideline. He's got his play. He takes the shotgun snap, and he hands it off to Linwood. Linwood to the right side. It's a foot race for the first down. He stops short. Petty's got the play from the sideline. He hands it off to Linwood. Linwood gets a block, and he's into the end zone for another score for these Baylor Bears. Baylor's going to kick this one off, 33-14. They're up big. Stewart, he's going to take that kickoff. He starts off to the left, and he's going to take the edge, and he's got nobody in front of him. It's going to be a foot race. Can he get to the end? No. He's finally caught from behind after a 55-yard return. That's the kind of big play capability these SMU Mustangs need to get back in this game. He fakes the handoff. Matt Davis, he breaks one tackle, and he's brought down after a short gain, seven yards that time on the quarterback keeper. Matt Davis has some wheels. We'll see if he can continue to move this ball. He's going to throw it out quick to the right side. Steven Nelson is there for four yards and a first down. Gresham moves in motion as Matt Davis is in the shotgun with Pope to the right of him. Pope takes that counter handoff, and he goes right. He cuts it upfield and only gets four yards on the play. We'll see if they continue to stick with this running game as time is running out. Davis. Matt Davis takes a shotgun snap. He's got a man open on the right side. He hits Steven Nelson there for about 13 yards. 10-yard reception, I'm sorry. He gets the first down, though, and we'll move the chains. We're going in a hurry up here. Five minutes in the third quarter. Baylor is up huge. Davis takes the snap, and he's looking, 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 running. He finally just throws it away. That throw could have been a... A huge turnover, putting Baylor even more on top of this one. SMU is struggling here offensively. Davis takes a shotgun snap. He's looking, looking, looking. He's got a man, Daniel Gresham, with a 20-yard touchdown catch. Now, that's a running back. He plays fullback and tight end. He's Bryce Petty in the pistol formation once again. He's going to take the snap and turn around and hand it to Linwood. Linwood takes off left, and he cuts up north and gets spun around after 17 yards, finally hits the ground, and it's going to be first and 10. Petty's got Armstead in motion. He fake, he gives the handoff. It's not a fake. Gives the handoff to Linwood. Linwood takes another 13 yards for another first down for these Baylor Bears. This SMU defense is really struggling here. As we see, looks like they're going to be bringing pressure. Linwood takes the handoff up the middle and nowhere to go. Zero yards on the carry. Petty drops back to pass. Man in his face immediately, but he still finds Armstead to the right for seven yards. Fakes the handoff to Linwood, and Petty's, Petty's got room. He picks up a block, and oh my goodness, he's finally caught after 32 yards. That was the longest 32-yard run I've ever seen. First, First Petty once again in a shotgun set. He takes the snap, and it's a delayed handoff to Chafin. Chafin, negative two yards. Nowhere to go on that last play. Baylor's going to line up once again in the shotgun set. Chafin is still in the game. Petty drops back. He's got pressure, and he finds Coleman on the left side, and he's blasted after a five-yard gain. That was dangerous. That was almost a touchdown. He hands it off to Chafin, and Chafin stiff arms one guy, and he's hit from behind into the end zone. What a bonehead defensive play. Ugly, ugly game defensively here for SMU. They're going to need a lot of help here. Late in the third quarter, Davis takes the snap. He's back. He's back. Nowhere to go with the football, and he's sacked. Eight yards on the loss. After the sack, we got Davis in the shotgun formation with five receivers bunched up. He hits Joseph across the middle. For After the 18-yarder by Joseph, Davis is in the shotgun again. He's got Joseph on a pivot route. He jukes one man, and he's finally brought down. Oh, no, he's not brought down. He breaks out of that tackle. And picks up a few more yards. Huge gain there by Joseph. He can be a huge man here. And he gets another one. Three straight plays. Joseph with 15 plus yards on each catch. And we're back in the red zone with SMU. SMU. Davis back to pass. Nowhere to go. And he finally finds Nelson. And he drops it. That could have been a touchdown. In that split offset, they really like that formation. He pitches it back to Gresham, and Gresham is stood up after four yards. You'd like to see him run that guy over next time. Davis coming up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the set. He's looking, looking. 
And he picks up Gaines. Gaines finally brought down at about the two-yard line. It's going to be first and goal. SMU back to pass. Davis rolling out. And he hits Gaines with the touchdown. Jeremiah Gaines with a three-yard touchdown reception. That brings this game to a two-possession game late in the third quarter. As you see, Bryce Petty hits Norwood for nine yards. After the nine-yard pickup by Levi Norwood, Petty hands the ball off to Linwood, and he's up the middle. After four yards, he's finally brought down from behind. Petty in the shotgun set. He's going to hand it off to Linwood again. Looks like they're just going to try and run as much clock as possible. That's going to be a two-yard loss as we head to the fourth quarter. Petty, I think this is his first snap under center. And he just turns around with a delayed handoff to Linwood. Petty in the shotgun. He sets up a screen, and Linwood's got a lot of room on the right side. Past the 50, the 40, 35, 30, 25. And he's knocked out of bounds from behind at the 20-yard line after a 40-yard catch and run. Petty in the shotgun. He fakes the handoff one way, and he pitches it another way. Linwood's got a lot of room, and he's finally brought down after a 13-yard gain. It's going to be first and goal. Petty gives it to Linwood again. There's a flag on the play. Linwood's motion and face mask, and that's what it's going to be. Defense. Disappointing here by SMU. Late in the game, picking up penalties. It's it's just getting ugly, folks. Petty, and he keeps it in. Nobody there. Four-yard touchdown run, Bryce Petty. And the kickoff here by the Bears. Deshaun Stewart is back deep. He's already had one big return. We'll see if he can get another. He takes it at about the goal line. Picks up a couple of blocks, and he's got room on the left side, but just not enough room. He's finally brought down after a 46-yard return. Just shy of the 50-yard line is where Davis is going to take the ball. He takes the snap, and he's got a man across the middle. Nope, there's double coverage. One underneath, one over top, and there's no way he was going to come up with that catch. Davis in the five receiver set. He's looking and looking. Nowhere to go. He finally takes Lancaster as the dump down. After about five yards, he's blasted. Davis is in the five receiver set again. He drops back. He's looking around. He gets a man open. It's going to be Lancaster who's going to get blasted at the 40-yard line. Once again, back in that five receiver set. Davis is looking. He's got a man open across the middle. That's Darius Joseph. We told you he's got burners. I think Joseph is averaging almost 20 yards a catch. Davis takes the snap. He's rolling out. He's looking, looking, nowhere to go. Why didn't he just take off? He finally dumps it as he was about to get hit. Takes the snap once again. He's rolling and nowhere to go. He's sacked for Davis it. was hurt on that last play. Burcham back in the game. He's got four receivers out. He's got a man open, and he hits Troy Castle for the 24-yard touchdown reception. Readymaker with the onside kick. Lee grabs it, and he's going to plow forward for about 5, 10 yards. And Baylor's going to get this ball back here towards the middle of the fourth quarter. Petty keeps the ball off the fake to Linwood. Petty gets six yards before he's finally brought down. Petty Once dropping back to pass. He's surveying the field. He's got a man to the left side. Coleman catches the ball, and he takes off running up the left sideline, and he's taken down about the 10-yard line, 20-yard reception. Petty's going to keep this one here on first and 10, and he gets up 10 yards first and goal. Petty, once again, touchdown. Baylor Bears. This has gotten very, very ugly here in the fourth quarter. Burcham back to pass. He's looking, looking. He's got a man on the right side, and it's just dropped. Once again in the shotgun formation, five receivers on the play. Burcham drops back to pass. He's looking, looking. He goes to the left side, and oh my goodness, Brents gets another interception. He just jumped right in front of that one. Petty's going to line up here in the shotgun formation with four receivers in the formation. He takes the snap and he, hand, he fakes the handoff. And he's got Antoine Goodley deep in the end zone for a 30-yard touchdown catch. And there it is, folks. 61-35, the final score. As you see Bryce Petty trotting off the field. He was the player of the game, had multiple touchdowns. I think it ended up being five or six with three or four of them on the ground alone. We just couldn't stop their running game, and it just got ugly in the fourth quarter. Not going to lie. There's not much I can do about that. The, the defense just didn't step up in the way they needed to. 
and that that just hurt we wanted to get a, a great win on the road to put SMU back on the map against an in-state rival and just couldn't get it done so we look ahead to week two against Texas A&M Aggies no Johnny Manziel so that's a good thing don't have to worry about chasing him around but uh, they do got Kenny Hill and Kenny Hill he started off this past season pretty good so that's going to be a tough test in its own right. Coming up in the middle of the season, you're go you guys are going to see some recruiting. I don't want to show too much too soon because uh, early in the year, using a program like SMU, recruiting is going to be pretty boring as it is. Once I start to grab some nice recruits I'll start showing that um, but other than that you guys won't see too much recruiting uh, just because it, it tends to get pretty boring when there's not much going on uh, with a small school like SMU there isn't much going on until later in the year so with that I'm gonna close this video please guys leave a like subscribe comment if I if you saw me make mistakes point them out so I can go back and watch this game footage again and see where I can improve because I'm going to need all the help I can get to get past these, these Texas A&M Aggies and Kenny Hill. So with that, guys, I'm out, and I'll see you all next week.